folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today I make my first version of a wood block. Barb Makes Things! This instrument, the dodecahedron, which looks like this, in case you're just joining us, is all about fun geometry and putting a new spin on old percussion. I have a few of the membranophone drums made and I will make more, but let's mix this up. I need some other percussion elements. I figured I'd try a wood block, but not just any old wood block, one with five resonating chambers. What, you thought I was going to be traditional about this? So I had a couple of types of wood at home. I decided to do the first version in poplar and then work my way up to mahogany once I had the design down right. The size was partly determined by the material, but I also wanted to make sure that there was space inside of the frame for drumsticks to play them. The plan was to make hollows into two pieces of three quarter inch lumber and then glue them together. I laid out the design in Illustrator and then took it to the CNC machine at Crashspace. This pattern carves openings into each side of the pentagon, and then a flipped image makes the reverse side. For variation, I cut the tabs off with the bandsaw rather than the scroll saw, and bumped into the neck. After cleaning the cuts a little bit, I glued them together. I'm using this hex wrench with duct tape wrapped around it to hold the centers in place and make alignment easier. Wiping off excess glue after it's clamped. This one's too small. So I've glued this up and like you get hit some sound, you can hear it. I kind of am curious if I made cuts in between the different sides, keeping like the center connected, if that would make the resonance better on each of these different parts. So we're gonna try it, because you know, why not? And it sounds not horrible for a first version. Oh. Some sides are clearly better than others. I'll make modifications to the next iteration. If you like this video, share it with a friend. If you didn't, share it with an enemy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how to's. There are a lot of them. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.